Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author in trading with over 190k reputation points. In this video, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move on this pair. And the way in which we will be doing that is first, analyzing the pair from a technical perspective. Then we will go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds and the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. So without wasting any more time, let's go straight to the charts. Today, I want to speak about gold because we do have quite interesting price action and structure. In fact, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that this market is currently testing previous monthly resistance here and again here, which now that the market has broken it to the upside, is turned support and demand at this area. And as we're testing, previous monthly resistance turn support, there is definitely the possibility to see the market provide a potential rejection higher. We can also notice how, since we have an impulse and correction, we can measure the correction by taking our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, we can see how we are currently rejecting the 0 0.786 Fibonacci retracement taken on this monthly impulse, which is quite strong support and is currently lining up also with the previous structure resistance turn support, which we have previously identified, creating a very strong confluence of support and demand at this area that, that as we have already said, we could expect this market to reject to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now here in the weekly, we can see how we had a very strong impulse to the downside followed by the start of this correction. Now, in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we do that, we can see how the market has just tested exactly the 0.32 Fibonacci retracement, created a minor rejection to the downside that immediately started rejecting higher. Now, in a situation like this, what we could expect is potentially the market to create a move to the upside all the way up to go and test the previous weekly support turn resistance that is currently lining up at this area. In fact, from here, the market had started this move to the upside before then melting to the downside. And this exact previous support to resistance is a very strong liquidity area that there is a good probability that this market would like to go and test. That is why usually these areas act as magnets for the price. Now, if we go down on the daily, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, I spoke about gold a couple of times in, in the past weeks. In fact, I spoke about gold after the market printed this W formation. I made a full breakdown explaining why we wanted to see the move to the downside and completion of the W formation at the neckline. The market did that. And then in creating the move to the downside, I also printed this M pattern. After the creation of an M pattern, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we would he want to see the market create this rejection to the upside, which once again, the market has just created. And by the way, I will link both these previous analysis in description so you can go and check them out for more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have now? At the moment, we can notice how we are breaking above daily structure. In fact, if we follow the movements of the market here, we know that we had the move to the upside correction Again, I move to the upside, break below, break back above. Now, when you have impulse correction, equal high, lower low, again, equal high, and then I move to the downside, usually the market would uh, tend to create a rejection higher for the creation of this inverted head and shoulders. Meaning that in a situation like this, if the market will actually go and retest this previous support, which is now again support here, there is a good probability that we could see the market provide a rejection to the upside to go and complete the pattern with the test of the previous weekly support term resistance, which was the upside target that we identified when we were looking at the weekly time frame. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is basically what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data for gold, what we can see is that with the last report, we once again see net positions getting increased. We had 9.2k shorts closed 
with the last report after months of constant shorts getting added. This is the first time the shorts get closed. Now, yes, it is true that we don't see longs added yet. However, we didn't have them at the time of the reporting. At this point, given the rejections, rejections that we're currently getting, there is a good probability that when the market created this rejection to the downside, hunting all the stop losses that were below this low, this manipulation actually gives the liquidity in the market for institutional buying. So there is a good chance that with the next report, which is supposed to come out tomorrow, we will actually see a longs added on gold. Now, if that would be the case on the retest of this previous support that we were identifying before, which is now again support, how we could be approaching this potential rejection higher. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the CO2 data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the intraday timeframes, so for hour and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, we could be looking for a potential rejection higher for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say market environment shift, and valid entries that is all part of the mentorship program, which you can now access completely for free. In fact, the link is in the description and I really suggest that you go and check it out because you can learn all the rules of the strategies and you will find a lot of valuable content inside of it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, also make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis for all of you because obviously it helps with the YouTube algorithm and I will see you in my next video.